Hello, welcome to a new episode. Today we're finalizing the works on our septic tank and we're starting on something new. The foundations of our sanitary building. I've already measured out the dimensions of the sanitary building by measuring the width, the length and double checking by checking the diagonal. So now we're going to dig some holes for the foundation. And before I start with that, let me explain to you what we're going to do. These cement blocks will be the foundation of our sanitary building. We're going to put those in the ground, level them on a layer of concrete, and then we're going to fill those up with concrete so we get a rigid base. And on top of that, we're going to build the floor. So now that I've measured everything out, I'm going to slightly move the pins outward so we have a bit of a digging area for the foundation and then afterwards before we put the blocks into the ground we're gonna remeasure it again to be absolutely sure that the blocks are on the correct position and then it's time to dig let's get started So while Sylvia is doing the work, I'll just sit back and relax a bit. We've dug the holes. Now I want to make sure the level is correct in the holes and for that I want to use our laser leveler. However, with the sunny weather that's not going to work because I can't see the laser. So we either have to wait on a bit of cloudy weather today and otherwise we have to continue this afternoon when the sun gets low and it gets a little bit darker. Even with the cloudy weather I cannot see the laser at the moment, so I really have to wait until this evening before I can do that. So meanwhile, to check if the holes are deep enough for the concrete to go in, I'll just use a wooden beam with our normal leveler to see if it's more or less level. And after that, I can at least put the dimensions out into the ground again so we can determine where the concrete blocks will come. And then the height I'll determine this afternoon. All right, so there's a height difference of about 10 centimeters between the highest point and the lowest point. So I've got some adjusting to do. I've marked the dimensions with these pins so we have the correct length and width. Now I'm going to put the laser leveler on and I will determine the height by using just some masking tape, putting it directly on the line where the laser leveler is. And then afterwards I can determine the correct height. I guess I'll have to wait till tonight for leveling everything because I can't see anything. Ah, welcome back. It's been a frustrating 10 days. 
where we could not do anything with the foundation. It has been pouring here in Portugal for 10 days straight. And it's still dripping now and it's going to rain tomorrow again and the day after and after and after probably as well. It should be more or less dry the rest of the day. So I'm going to give it another go. I've done some leveling with the laser leveler in the rain in the evening and I think it worked. Well, it's just going to have a go. It's starting to rain again, but we really have to continue. All right. I'm going to grab some stuff. That booger over there. And some other stuff. And just start. Okay, so logistics. I'm at the house right now. Here we have the concrete mill. Here are all my tools and way over there we have sand and gravel for the concrete and way up there we've got the working area. <laughs> so logistics is kind of the thing, huh? Just not think about it too much. I have two wheelbarrows. So I guess every time I have to walk to the house to get some tools, I'll all go so get some sand and gravel. How oh dear. This is going to take some time. So I got some tools here, but before I bring it there, let's get some sand and gravel. I've got more sand than gravel here. So I'm going to do three buckets of sand with two buckets of gravel, one bucket of cement, and then more or less a half bucket of water to make my concrete. So all the holes that I dug were of course filled with water. I've cleared the water yesterday, put some plastic on it to keep them more or less dry. So now we can work. Okay, all the holes are kind of dry except for one. So I'll scoop that one out and then we'll just pour that one as last, hopefully it dries up enough. Now let me explain to you how we're going to do this foundation. I've dug out these rectangular holes, which we will fill up with some concrete as a base. And on the, on the concrete, we'll put these cement blocks. And once they have settled and everything is hardened, then we'll fill these blocks with concrete again. And that way we get a nice and level surface. And it's kind of easy and also cheap because these blocks cost about a euro each. We need some concrete, of course. Well, maybe three bags of concrete and a bit of sand and, and gravel. So let's take into account that's like maybe 20 euros combined with six blocks, 26 euros. Let's round it off at 30 bucks for the foundation. And it's kind of easy to do as well. So win-win, I guess. But first, before we get started, I need to put some roping along the sides. So I know everything is in an correct angle and in the correct height level. And to determine the correct height for the level, I've put these pieces of duct tape and the bottom of the duct tape is about where the rope should be. And you know what? If I screw this up and it's not completely leveled, 
I can always put some fill plates between the concrete base that I'm making right now and the wooden frame that's going to build on top. I've got the concrete mill, I've got the ingredients for the concrete, I've put the rope to determine the level. Now let's get this going. Three down, three to go. There we go. Concrete board, blocks are in, everything's level. Now we just have to wait for it to cure before we can continue. But that's something for the next episode. If you're curious on how this project will progress, please consider subscribing and then we'll see you in the next one. Ciao!